When I saw the situation with Jones on the news, the first thing uh, that occurred to me was same bleep, different century. Um, <laughs> that's the <laughs> PG version. <laughs> out of Thank you for that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're quite welcome. And the second thing I thought was, it's, it's a darn shame that there were 30 plus thousand people who were just there to watch a baseball game and a handful of knuckleheads wind up basically spoiling it for, for everyone else and getting us, um, getting us on the, uh, leading the evening news, and not just that night. Um, and when people say that Boston is a racist city, I kind of have a problem with, with that too. There, there is obviously a lot of racism in the city and has been for a long time, but to say that there are a lot of racists in the city and to say that this is a racist city, those are, those are two different statements, and it's not a semantic difference mm -hmm. to me. It's a, it's a, it's a real difference. Um, I moved to Boston. Uh, I was in the New York metropolitan area. Um, I was doing music down there, and in 75, I moved to, to Boston to pursue some opportunities. And um, the next year, uh, Ted Landsmark was jabbed by an American flag on Government Center Plaza. And my mother called me from Indianapolis <laughs> saying, why in the world are you living? <laughs> I'm saying, well, Mom, it's, you know, it's, um, it's, it's, it's cool. I'm, I'm you know, flying under the radar here, and nobody's messing with me. <laughs> I was trying to keep her mollified, even though then um, there were lots of places, um, most of Southie, uh, part, you know, around Bunker Hill, parts of Hyde Park, parts of Dorchester, parts of Somerville, where a guy like me walking around would wind up with a, a, a beer bottle or a brick bouncing off his head. That's not so much the case now, but the reasons it's not the case are sort of the subject of another panel, how a lot of what we're talking about really isn't just about race, it's about uh, money and class. And a lot of the working class people who used to live in these neighborhoods, well, they're not there anymore. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave my comments um, well, actually, there is one other thing um, that I'll say. Um, I have a friend who's, who was raised in the South who has lived up north for many years. And one time she told me that the difference between white people's attitudes towards blacks in the South and the North is down South, they don't care how close we get as long as we don't get too high. And up North, they don't care how high we get as long as we don't get too close. Hmm.